Chef Buck here and today we're going to cook up, we're going to mix up a no-bake recipe. So we're not going to cook anything, we're just going to whip it together and then throw it in the fridge. In fact, I've got some from about five or six days ago. This is a batch I made closer to a week than not a week. Amazingly, there's still plenty of them left, even though they're super duper delicious. But it's a no-bake, so you know we're not baking the oats or anything, so you got to take it easy on these. You know, you can't wolf down like four or five of these at once because it'll back you up. You know, like uh, you know, like how trains get backed up at the station, you know, if there's a problem. Delicious, but take it easy, guys. We want to grab us a big bowl. Then we're going to throw our wet ingredients in there. Got a little bit of vanilla and then some honey. Scrape all of your honey out of there, all of your precious bee business. Don't waste your bee business. And then we got a little bit of coconut oil. So let's give this a whiskey whisk. And then we're gonna throw in some rolled oats. Not steel cut oats, you want your rolled oats. And then we're gonna throw in some oat flour. This is oat flour. These are rolled oats, this is exactly the same thing. It's just this one here, the dreams have been crushed. These are like this, but the dreams, it's like, this is oats once they deal with the reality of the world. I mean, I'm very close to this right now. The usefulness of my whisk has expired. Let me revert to a spoon. So we'll stir in our oats and flour, get it mixed in with the honey and oil. And now I'm gonna throw in some nuts. And I got a cup of nuts here, but it's a half and half mixture. I got some walnuts, boom, but then I've also got some slivered almonds, and these are toasted. You know, when you buy slivered almonds at the store, they're not toasted, <laughs> but then Camber Girl takes them and then she toasts them, and then they have a great flavor. The chocolate uh, for the fudge, it's uh, very overpowering. I mean, they're oatmeal fudge bars, and the fudge just just jumps in there, and it's like a, it's like a wife in a marriage. You know how they're overpowering is that the right word you know it takes charge the fudge takes charge but if you use some toasted uh, slivered almonds you know you can fight back a little bit but anyway we'll mix our nuts in here <laughs> get them nice and amalgamated then it's not a very wet concoction okay now I'm gonna use an 8 by 8 dish and you can use any size dish you like. You saw those ones I had, they're like an inch thick because I'm using this dish. If you like thinner ones, just use a bigger dish and it'll be less in there and it'll be flat. It's science. But I got a little nest of parchment paper so it'll come out here easily. So let me spoon a bunch of this in here and smash it out. We want to use most of this as kind of a bottom crust. And then we want to reserve some of it to sprinkle on the top. Let's go ahead and give it a smashy smash and get it filled in all the way to the corners. And you can use a spoon or spatula to smash it down if you want, but it's very sticky. I like to use the fist technique because my fists aren't as sticky as spoons. You know, these have served me well. You know, whether I'm rough and tumble in the back alleys of Singapore or I'm at home making fudge, you can always count on these. So I got a nice little thick layer of oats and honey. <laughs> so now we've got our base all ready for the chocolatey part of our dish. So come on over here to the stove, camera girl. I got me a little double boiler set up here. So I just got a pot of water with another pot that'll sit in there. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this water up to a bubble so I can melt my chocolate. But I'm going to throw a little bit of butter in here. So our butter is starting to melt up there and I'm going to throw in my chocolate. So we're just going to stir it around in our pot here and get it nice and melted up. Won't take long at all. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and throw some coconut milk in here. And then we'll just continue to stir it. Stir away until it becomes a nice smooth chocolatey dream. Come on over here and that's why you want to have this ready to go. Because you don't want your chocolate to freeze up, you know, while you're getting your crust ready. So have that done beforehand. 
So we'll get all our chocolate in here and then we'll just smooth that out. So I've got everything pressed down and smoothed out evenly. And now I'm gonna take my remaining oats and honey and nuts and sprinkle that over the top. Put a nice little crunchy cap on here. And I'm gonna take a few more of the slivered almonds and put those on the top too, because I really like those. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press my oats and nuts into my chocolate a little bit. You know, just to anchor them into that chocolatey goodness so that later when I'm trying to eat them, you know, they won't try to escape. You know, I want them firmly embedded into the deliciousness. This is heavy. There is a lot of delicious desserty poundage here, and this poundage is gonna go somewhere. But let's not think about that right now. So the last thing we gotta do is throw it in the fridge. Boom. And let the fridge do the magic. All right, so it has been three hours. As soon as it solidifies, so maybe after a couple hours you can give it a check. Because I got parchment paper, boom. Look, comes right out of there. Amazing. So we just peel it back. And we got a big old block of deliciousness. If you want to send somebody to the hospital, you can just give them this one piece. But now we want to cut this into some pieces that we can eat and survive. And it is not easy to cut because it is a solid block of chocolate and nuts and oats. But cut them into whatever sizes you like. You've been eating these all week, camera girl. Now you got a new batch to work on. What do you like about these? It's a good balance of the oats, nuts. Woohoo! Because you're not crazy about chocolate. You're not. I like chocolate, but I'm not. She's not an ambassador of chocolate like I am. Depends. I'm a little more picky. Yeah. But these are great. But they are, as you say, they're very dense. So you don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. This is a little. <laughs> there you have it. A tower of decadent luxuriousness. If you want to print this recipe, I'll have a link down below. It'll take you over to myfoodchannel.com. You can print all our recipes over there. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.